Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about context filters, its pros and its cons. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So get to get started, let us first understand, you know, what is filter, okay, that we have all learned. So by basic definition, if I go filter means restricting the data, right? This we know, now based on how we are applying filter and where we are applying filter. This filters in Tableau are categorized into types. Like say we have data source filter, right? So we have uh, extract filters. We have uh, cascading filters. We have normal filter. We have sharing filter. We have user filter and then most of most important of all we have context filter also. So in today's video or in this video, we are going to specifically focused more on context filter and we'll try to understand, you know, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of that. So context filter by definition means what or if I try to explain you in general. So it's like a filter on a filter simple or someone would, will call it like say you know it will create a temp table on top of that again filter will be applied something like this or you know again if at all I want to add one more point uh, I'm changing the behavior of tableau here like say filters in general in nature are independent in nature. Like you say, if you have multiple filters in place, they work independently. But if you are, you know, making a filter as a context, so you are forcing that to be dependent. So the, again, it is, again, one more point here, dependent filters. And if I have to write one more point here, what would I say? You are forcing Tableau to execute this filter first, whatever is in context, you are asking Tableau, okay, boss, you know, first execute this filter, then whatever the data is coming out from that filter, that has to be applied to other filters, okay? So this is the basic overview of a context filter. Now let us see, now let us see a contexted filter a basic use case of that. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take my subcategory onto my view and uh, I'm going to take sales here. Okay. Now observe how this is working here. I'm sorting it. Okay. So I want top three subcategory items. So what are the top three subcategory items? We have chairs phones and storage okay now i want this top three with respect to each of my category or whatever the category that i'm selecting so how do we do this in general i'll take this on filter shelf go to top you know by field and maybe i'll write top two so with respect to sales i need so i'm keeping that as it is so we got this top two right now if i try to add category here onto my view, if you see here, for furniture, we have chairs, for technology, we have phones, right? So these are coming from different subcategories. Now you have to observe this. So I'm just trying to add this to my filter shelf and I'll give a single select option to the user. Now this is not working according to my expectation. My expectation is if I select my furniture category, I should get my top two subcategory items. Okay, but what is happening here? Because these two are working independently, you know, first this is getting filtered out. Again, this is getting filtered out. So we are getting only partial data or irrelevant data we can call. Because you do not have anything with respect to office supplies, no, it is not showing anything. So here we have a data issue. Now this kind of issues, we have to fix it in our project. No one will come and tell that, you know, you have to add you know, category to filter or for context and all. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding my 
category to my context. Now what will happen? By nature, I am asking Tableau to execute this filter first. Now whatever the subcategory items that I have in furniture item, that will get filtered. On top of that, our subcategory filter, which is telling that we need to compute top two items, it is working. Now, when I select furniture, it is showing top two subcategory items within this furniture category. So likewise, if I select office supplies, it is showing top two for my office supplies. Likewise, for technology, it is phones and machines. Okay, so this is how the behavior of a context filter will work. Now let us understand what are the pros and cons. First one is performance optimization. Obviously, because you know what happens is like say I'm taking the example of my region field here. Okay. So I'm taking my region and I'm dropping it on my filter shelf. I'll select only West, apply OK, and I'm adding this to my context. Now, what is happening by behavior or by nature? You are telling Tableau, Ki boss, I need only those regions which have West in them, right? Now, when I try to bring in my state, okay, so what is happening here? Already, whatever the data is filtered, this filtered data on top of that, we are trying to bring in this information, which means you are already working on a defined data or on a limited data, which is already you know, filtered based on this condition. So that way you are, you are working on a limited data set, which will improve the performance here. Okay, so that is again one important use case that can help you in improving the performance. Okay, so next is hierarchical filtering. So hierarchical filter means what? Hierarchical filter means again, if I go here, like say again, I'm taking a region field, which has, uh, I'm, and again, I'm adding a south or I'm taking south in that and I'm adding that to context. Now I have an hierarchy item here called as region, state, city, and postal code, whatever. So this is a hierarchy for me, right? Now, for that particular region called as South, when I try to add state, what will happen under this Southern region, whatever the states are present, only that I'm getting. And again, only that, only under those states, whatever the cities are present, I'm getting only that. So now it is indirectly working as a cascading filter and it is showing you only limited items here. So this is again a very optimal way of working. Okay, so see here, when I try to put on this, we are getting some new options here. So explore this and use it wisely according to your project use case. All values in context you can use all values in hierarchy and context you can use or all values in hierarchy you can use or only relevant values. So till now, if at all, we have to work with the cascading filters, we used to click on this only relevant values and it used to filter our filters, you know, this filters drop downs and show only relevant values. But because we have context in place and because we have hierarchy in place, it is giving us some extra options. Now here you have to decide based on what data you want to show in the drop down, whether you want all higher values in hierarchy or all values in hierarchy and context, all values in context like that. Okay. So here, if you see here automatically, if I try to you know, select only Alabama state. My city is all is showing only uh, those cities that has Alabama as a state, right? So this is your hierarchical filter that will work. And now it is making this dependent on this. So first this filter will get executed again on top of this, this will get executed. You are also changing the behavior of your context filter or your filter here, that is hierarchical filter. Next is accurate aggregations. Now Tableau might also help you in, you know, having, you know, your aggregations very accurate when you are using context filters. Same example, again, if I take here, 
like say uh, what is the example that i'm talking here i'm taking my category here and i'm dropping it here and i'm taking furniture apply okay and again i'm adding this to context so what is happen what will happen now only furniture category will come right again whatever the customers are present in that furniture category i'll get only those customers and only those sales for that now if i try to find out whatever the results or average or whatever i want to find out it will help us in giving accurate results or accurate calculations again this might you know you might see a lot of data mismatches you know when when you are using a context filter and when you are not using a context filter you have to identify where is the lag okay so again remember this point that might help you in fixing your data related issues in real time many times it happens like you know we miss to put context filter and then result might be different and when we put context filter the result might be different and on okay so you have to be very careful in understanding or evaluating how you are getting this 195 or whatever the sales value or whatever and then you know you have to tie it up with the values okay so remember this point it might help you in real time so that is your accurate aggregations next like i said earlier it is dependent filter so by nature when you are adding a filter and you are making it context you are telling that you know they have to work together they cannot work independently because the results might be different so that way again you are making it a dependent filter so these are all use cases and then because of because of this what are you doing one you are showing only effective data two you are showing only what is relevant to the customer three you are giving a customer a better user experience you're not showing that is something that is not required you're not you know presenting information of unwanted values like that so these are all the pros or advantages of using a context filter in tableau now there are many use cases or there are many situations where many have said that you know okay context filter might also have a disadvantage what is that you want to tell in that situation have you ever faced a situation where you will tell that okay context filter was of no use for me you know it was having a lot of issues and all let us try to understand what is the disadvantages of a context filter first thing is complexity and maintenance so now when i say complexity and maintenance what so here you have a single filter it is fine right so it is easy to understand easy to debug and all but when you have multiple filters in place when you have multiple filters in place like say you are adding category as furniture you are adding region as waste you are adding order date all of that you are adding into the view and you are adding that to context now when you are trying to troubleshoot this and understand what is the data that is coming out from this it will be very challenging for you okay so remember this point so because here if i talk with respect to sample superstore data might be very limited so it might be easy for us to debug but in real time we might be working with millions of data right so in that situation it, it will become very complex so that's why that is the first point increasing complexity and maintenance next is a fixed context now by if i what i mean by fixed context is now you are adding category as furniture and you are showing some result now suppose th this is a static now or this is fixed context right so you cannot change because neither you are showing as a filter shelf or nothing you have just filtered it now every time you try to change a context filter what will happen it will recreate those temporary table whatever we are calling and it will again filter the data based on that or it will reload all of that values or the load time of your dashboard will increase every time you change the values in the context right so again if you are adding this and if you want to change you have to manually go back and change the values again that is one of the disadvantages of using a context filter so that is what it is calling here okay third one is performance trade-off 
so performance trade off means what like i said you know if at all i am changing my values in my context like say you want to change you know category from furniture to something else from region from west to something else from year of order date from whatever the date is there to other date so what will happen in this situation so whenever you are changing all of this it will again recreate its temporary table because it has to you know get those new values right so when it gets new values again on top of that it has to apply second filter okay again this will get reloaded so this load time will increase and it will cause you the uh, difficulties in that okay again this is a concern for us okay so that is why i said performance trade off so like say there is a saying too many cooks to spoil the broth right so similarly here single context filter if you are using okay it might we can tell that you know okay it is uh, an advantage for us because we are showing or we are working on a limited data set uh, that is already filtered and on top of that we are trying to bring in other information but when you have multiple filters in that place every time it has to create temporary tables every time you are changing user interaction is happening it will increase the load time and that's way, that's how the context filters the performance of your dashboard might decrease user might say you know the load time of dashboard is more the initial load time of your dashboard will increase so all of these are disadvantages of a context filter now when you have such filters if you get any data issues just think you know how much of trouble we are going to have in identifying where the issue is okay so in one place you might have a normal filter and in another place you might not have a normal filter like that okay so identifying or you know you know finding the rca for your you know missing entry or you know showing a little higher value than the expected then troubleshooting those will become very you know challenging for you because the volume of your data will be very huge so to come to you know drill down to the lowest level where the issue is there it will take lot of time for you so that's why they say that you know you will have lot of time in debugging or troubleshooting the when you have multiple context in place okay now you have to think in project do i really require multiple context in place every time or only i can work with you know single filter and all so decide choose wisely whenever you are working in a project whether you really require multiple context or one context is enough and all and based on that take a decision because end of the day performance is what we all need and accurate numbers is what everyone needs okay so focus on these two points always and take a wise decision i hope this video has helped you in you know having a clarity on context filters if it does don't forget to leave your comment see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day